Hi, my name is David Folletti. I'm a senior specialist and level two thermographer at the Jenny Technical Center. Today I'm here to talk to you about thermography and how we use it on roofing materials. Our clients call us for roofing problems, masonry problems, window problems, building envelopes in general. Infrared is in a different visual spectrum than the naked eye. In the infrared spectrum, we find anomalies or defects that we cannot see with our naked eye, mostly moisture. The reason why we can use an IR camera to pick up this moisture underneath a roofing membrane is because during the daytime, the sun heats up the roof and any moisture that is underneath the membrane has been heating up all day long using the solar energy from the daytime. At night, which is an optimal time to actually do IR, we let the roof cool down with the night breeze once the sun is gone, and that surface now of the membrane is cooler. But with the IR camera, we see moisture that is trapped underneath the membrane and that is what the camera picks up, the warm energy that's still in the insulation, and that is what the camera can show me when I'm looking for anomalies in a roof. These are some of the equipment we use for doing IR inspections on roofs. The first thing I wanna talk about is our drone. We take these drones to a job site and we fly them above the roof, roughly about under 400 feet, and get a very good view of the entire roof with the thermal camera to find anomalies that we then can walk on the roof with a handheld camera such as this to verify what we're finding. One of the tools we have to use after doing IR is using a Tramex meter, which is called an RWS or Roof and Wall Seeker. This apparatus helps pick up moisture within the roof system. This also helps us verify what we have found with the IR camera for moisture underneath the roof. Now, we always say this is a non-destructive way of doing testing, but after we run the Tramex meter, we have to sometimes make test cuts to verify visually and touch and feel to make sure there's moisture within the roof system. In some cases, we cannot look at a roof on the upper side or top side of the roof due to factors of weather or the product that's on the roof itself. Sometimes there's ballast on the roof, which is basically rocks, river rocks, that is on top of the roof to hold the roof down. Our IR camera cannot look through those rocks, but we have a new method we've used now from shooting from the underside. I'll take you over to a place we're looking at right now from the underside to show you exactly what I mean. We're here in the warehouse where we saw an actual leak visually. I'm taking the IR camera to locate the insulation and how much is compromised by this leak. With all the information we just gathered with our IR camera here at the warehouse, we're able to tell our client with an extensive report exactly where the leak happened, the extent of the insulation that was damaged around the leak, and also recommendations for the client to go ahead and do a patch repair or a complete replacement. Thank you for stopping by the Janie Technical Center. Thank you.